Hello everyone. Welcome you all to the continuation of the previous video. That is, this is the second part of the video. That is, in my previous video, I have told you, right, I'm going to be discussing some concepts with respect to the VTU portal. Now, in this video, I'll show you the complete procedure under VTU portal, what and all you need to be knowing. So, some of the students, I guess, most, mostly most of you have, have done this part. That is the registration part that is apply, updating your profile and all because that uh, deadline has already passed out. So most of you have to be doing that because if you don't do that, the application part of the internship is not possible. So that's why. So including that only, I'm, I would be telling you in this video, what and all are the procedures and what you, you would be getting in this VTU internship portal. Okay. How, uh, let us see that in this video. Along with that, in the, in the webinar, I've told you in that 22nd December, whatever the webinar was conducted in that the uh, the chancellor of this video had uh, raised some questions for that uh, answers also they had provided and based on the students whatever the students had asked for that also some questions that uh, i've listed it down in, in one pdf that also i'm going to be discussing in this video okay so stay tuned don't skip any part of the video because this is very important for all the seven sem students those who have not seen the previous video that is the part one please go and watch that video okay because uh, that is the that from that video continuation only we are continuing in that video we have discussed a lot of points related to internships so please go and watch it so let us start with this video now this is the web page that is uh, the web, name of the website is vtu internvinet.ac.in if you go to that website this is this uh, page would be opening okay here they have you could be seeing the options of home internships companies about contact here also we are having sign in register here, if you go to the internship sections, you would be seeing some filters here. That is, you should be filling your skills, whatever the skills you have learned in the four years of engineering with respect to your branch, add those skills along with the category. That is, for example, if you are an ECE student, add it as electronics and communication or electronics. Okay. After that, based on that, the VTU portal will be providing you some internships based on whatever the skills and categories you are mentioned. Okay. So like this, the VTU internships would be uh, available here, would be shown here. Whether it is paid free, they, they would be mentioning you in the top left here. So you see here, most of the companies, as I've told you previously, also 70 to 80 percent are paid internships only because they are they would the VTU. It is a tactic for VTU that is they are forcing you to do the paid internships because for them it, it is to make money. Okay, so that's why they are doing this uh, cheap tactics because uh, we students are getting used in that. Okay, yeah. So this is like this. The internship should be focused. Now the part of register and sign in. So these things already you have done. Again, I'll show you like this. Uh, they would be showing you should be uh, did de uh, fully detailing your uh, name, address, email address, phone number, password. Okay, you could be entering your email password or you could be entering new password. You could be creating and entering it. Then register. After that, as I've told you, you should be updating your profile. I guess uh, all of you have done it. So please, uh, this is a mandatory job. I don't know whether it is available right now or not to be updating the profile, but still the 100% profile should be done in the earlier itself. Okay. After that, applying for internship like this, the if you choose any internship like this, the internship overview would be providing. Okay. You see here, VTU demo internship stipend. So these three, these are the screenshots which was used in that webinar that only I've taken the screenshots and that only I'm showing it to you guys in case uh, if you're thinking that what is this? Then you see here applied internships after you apply for internship, there would be one section called as applied internships here. If you go there, you would be getting all the records. That is whatever the internships you have applied like this, they would be showing you here. And uh, like this, the status, they would be showing you if, when, if you are applied, it would be showing you as applied apply, application date and withdrawal. That is if you want the internship or not is given here. Okay. After that, in some days, they would be giving you the option called as offer released if you have applied. And if the offer released option has come, then you should be doing the for the upcoming procedure of payment and all. Okay. So in this section, the applied internships could be verified. Next is, as I've told you, that is uh, if the VTU has, VTU has accepted uh, your application and uh, if the company has also accepted your uh, uh, application based on your resume provided, they would be updating the status as offer released and uh, as i've told you in the previous video also you should be taking the decision after one week of release so you see here initially you had applied on 22nd december and offer they would be telling you that offer expires on 29th december so that's why you should be taking action based on the seven days after the offer release is come then accept decline if you accept it you should be doing the upcoming payment option in the vtu portal okay 
after that internship diary as i've told you after the acceptance of the internship and when the internship starts then only this option this portal would be open for internship diary okay in this what you need to be doing is you should be selecting the internship that is uh, whatever you have applied right that they would be showing here based on that you select that internship and pick a date the a date you should be picking that date in which day you are uh, uh, the first class for you for internship has done that day that day itself you should be picking that date and you should be entering here and then do the upcoming procedure that is in that day for example they have chosen 22nd december as one date in that they would be telling you the options such as what i worked on in that particular day what are the things you have learned that in one para in brief you describe the summary you could be using the chat gpt and whatever you have learned in that day uh, give the prompt to chat gpt and it will be providing you neatly in one paragraph okay that you paste it here then how hours work for example uh, in that first day of internship if you if your class the online class or offline class was of uh, the training hours was around 3 to 4 hours you mention that honestly okay then show your work if this is optional if it is not there just leave it blockers and learnings that is whatever you have learned in one paragraph you should be explaining that and like this you should be doing the diary entry of internship same goes with project diary entry also i guess these things are also mandatory and uh, it should be done before only i guess uh, most of you have done it those are not done it you should be doing it to the earliest okay after that one more option is there called as internship diary entries this shows you the day on which the internship diary you have done that diary entry would be updated here for example you see here here this diary entry was the first diary entry and that diary entry status is updated here and here there are options called as actions that is one is the one is to view your diary entry and another one is to edit your diary entry okay this pencil mark indicates that you could be editing your diary entry but the diary entry editing should be done before seven days of the diary entry okay here you have done the diary entry on 22nd up to 29 you have the option of editing it after that you cannot be editing your internship diary entry okay so like this the internship diary entries are done now for the project part again the in the same way you should be doing for the project also project uh, thing uh, since the project would be of a group of four members uh, if only the project leader does these things and uh, the rest of the project members cannot be uh, like uh, it is not mandatory for all the members of the project to do it okay if you one project leader if you if that project leader does all these things it is well and good okay project also it is very easy that is a uh, create project you click on create project and uh, give all the details of your project okay here uh, like this it would be asking you for that final year project whatever is there you should be mentioning that for example you see your project title whatever is the project title you give it here project description in around uh, uh, 200 to 300 words two to three paragraph you give the project description what your project does project domain team size for example if you are having four in one team mention it as four guide name the name of your project guide project uh, guide mobile number email and designation okay after that team members team member status should be updated by the team leader okay all the team members should be given by the team leader that is the team leader should be right, updating their usn and they should be sending an invite to all the other team members after that in this team member section project team member section the team leader should be sending the invitation right the rest of the team members job is to accept that invitation if all of the team members have accepted all four students updated or uh, list would be updated here in this column okay that is forced here it is only one that is the leader then if you if other team members have accepted the invite then all four team members uh, uh, updated uh, or team members details would be updated here in the project team team members okay after that comes the custom internship part as i've told you in my previous video what do you mean by custom internships that is uh, some of the students would be already placed in some companies and if they want to do the internship there itself this option is for them that is you should be uh, providing the offer letter and uh, uh, you should be updating the offer letter in this custom internship part okay you should be choose file and upload the uploading the offer letter and then we do people would be uh, analyzing that and if they if they accept it that company in that company only you could be doing the internship and details and the further details for that could be uh, filled in this custom internship part okay you see here this is the uh, offer letter that I uploaded it and that has got accepted and here like this uh, custom internship part that is uh, one one name they had given it that is video test c internship of your company of your choice that is the stipend whatever is there they would be mentioning here apply 
and if you press it the further procedure could be done in that part okay and like this the internship procedure would be working that custom internship would also would be available in this uh, uh, applied internship uh, portal as well okay so these are the things required for you guys for all the 7 sem students to be knowing under vtu internship portal okay so please go through it guys this is very important now let us get to the queries part that is regarding to the question and answers which were discussed in the webinar okay so that uh, let us discuss one by one the questions first thing they had uh, doubt, uh, doubted is about is there any mandatory registration fee to register on the internship portal the answer is there is no registration fee that is i have already told you internship portal you could be applying or registering in a free of cost it is completely free next is is it mandatory to do only a paid internship students are not required to do a paid internship that is a uh, paid internship is not a mandatory part you could be doing free internship or paid internship and is it compulsory to do the internship through the video portal only answer if a company is available on the portal apply through the portal if a company is not available on the portal you should be up going through the custom internship section which is there in the video portal as i've told you in the, that procedure is you should be taking permission that is offer letter get it enclosed endorsed by the principal that offer letter you should be having the principal sign and along with that principal sign that soft copy of offer letter you should be uploading in the custom internship section if the vtu people accepted it then you could be doing the internship in that section okay and like this there are uh, some more other questions are there so this uh, document i am i i would be putting in the video's description these are the queries which are which were there uh, just read it once and uh, for, along with the answers i have provided it so i'll skip this for now i have one more question which is very important to discuss that is regarding to here that is is internship meant only for getting a certificate okay most of you what you you guys would be doing is just for the sake of certificate you would be paying some amount and uh, you won't be even listening to the classes attendance nothing you won't be taking taking it seriously and uh, you would be simply getting the certificate if you do the paid but it is not the case guys please please if you are not having any job in your hand and uh, if you are doing this for name sake it is very very bad uh, it is a very very bad impression for you guys okay so please please if you are not having any job in your hand and if you are doing internship do it genuinely guys okay don't do only for a certificate okay internship is not about buying certificates students must work genuinely in that internship portal and maintain daily diary as i've told you diary updation is very very important based on that only the internal evaluation is done and the external evaluation is done based on the internship projects okay the project work whatever they assign you if you do it sincerely they would be evaluating you the internship vtu people would be sending the the lecturers and based on that the evaluation is done okay so that is the further procedure that would be discussing in the later stage for just now as i've told you internship is not meant only for getting a certificate do genuinely the internship okay only if you have already got placed in the in one company and for the namesake itself you are doing for internship in order to get the degree certificate then it is okay okay you could be doing it for the namesake and uh, paying some money and uh, don't take active part and get the certificate it is okay okay before that you should be asking your college also whether if i do like this it is right or wrong but those who are not having a job in hand and those people are doing like this then it is not good for that student okay so please please take it seriously internship helps for the skill development and better placement opportunities as mentioned by vt okay so yeah these were the things which i wanted to discuss all of the questions have not uh, all of the queries have not discussed so this pdf i will be attaching in the video's description also go and access it and see all these questions okay so that's all for this video guys and uh, combined cut of the first video and second video is around 45 minutes this video was very very necessary to be conveyed conveyed to all the 7th sem students those who are doing the upcoming 8th sem internship so this was a brief summary which i wanted to tell you because uh, this is very important guys okay if uh, i hope that uh, from this video from these two videos you you have got some idea regarding the internships and uh, please please mention in the comments whether you have got placed or not whether uh, you are facing any problems and all please please mention in the comments like this video and subscribe to our channel okay at the end i would like to say one thing that is if you have got a uh, if you have got selected in one genuine company through your campus do the internship 
there itself okay see whether it is possible to do the internship there itself okay do the well research go to the custom internship section contact ptu and try to do the internship there itself because i don't suggest you guys to do the internship in ptu because i don't think that the companies 10 to 20% companies are genuine in, genuine in ptu i don't know why they are only doing the this uh, this uh, section they have only kept it for the uh, money itself they want money from you guys so that's why we are the cowards here who are paying money and doing this internship okay but what to do they had done it mandatory right so we have we are not having any other option also you should be doing the internship in order to be getting the degree certificate i don't know uh, till the previous batch it was not like that we, we uh, in the previous batch they themselves would be searching for companies and doing internships now with from this batch onwards they had kept like this i don't know why we cannot be doing anything we should be following the video so nothing much we could be doing okay so that's all for this video guys i hope you have got some ray of light or ray of hope in order to how to approach towards internship under vtu so those who have got it you should be mentioning it in the comments that whether this video was helpful for you guys or not okay so that's all for this video guys please watch all uh, these two videos combinedly together and please please let us know your suggestions okay thank you